if you want to be creating something in life and building something in life you have to be an utmost optimist and you have to be someone who learns how to remain happier a lot of people take energy from you to be able to go ahead and do something success to an outsider looks like it's all glitz and glamour in reality a lot goes behind it it's the outcome of relentless innovation adaptability to the unforeseen years of persistence and hard work let's take a closer look into what truly lies beneath the surface when one hears the word advertising one imagines catchy jingles snappy taglines or huge distracting billboards but ever since the turn of the millennium the nature of advertising has seen a drastic shift thanks to the internet ads have gone mobile they are personalized and efficient like mainline advertising never was and one of the biggest players in mobile advertising is inmobi led by a visionary and a true entrepreneur at heart navin tiwari inmobi started off as m coach in 2007 At its inception, Mcoach was a modest SMS-based search platform, and in only 4 years, the company crossed a valuation of 1 billion US dollars and became what is known in the startup universe as a unicorn. But let's hear about this unicorn's fairy tale rise from its CEO himself. time when we started off in 2007 2008 the the word startup didn't really have a meaning you know the it at best people thought of it as you know some people who have gone crazy who don't necessarily have a career are trying to essentially establish themselves there is no way you're going to succeed if you don't do the hard work but if you only do the hard work and the and you don't get lucky there is no way you're going to also succeed so the way i saw it was you know i'm just going to keep working hard and you know wait for the luck to come our way and it did when we started m coach the thing that i realized we made a mistake on was that the idea of m coach wasn't big enough but the idea of inmobi was massive the point i want to make is the life of an entrepreneur is hard very hard so if you're anyway going to go down this path go for something really big because your probability of success is not necessarily drastically different if you do something small or something really big but you might as well do something big so that you know the impact is there the first time we got this distinction of being called a unicorn we had no idea what it was we became a unicorn in what 3 years or so how do you continue that level of growth and curve is very hard and so you put undue pressure on yourself is the first indian company to do that so take a lot of pride in that but entrepreneurs even today need to know that that's not the end of the journey that's just the that's just a good milestone if you're not innovating then in the space of technology over a 5 year period you will go away and in india for example you would see a lot of companies come about where they start they try to use capital as a way to create the required moat you cannot succeed if you don't have the 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 core uh, ability to use technology led innovation uh, in making these things happen adaptability and speed are critical in these in these times the thing that i was most worried about in the first few weeks of uh, you know of of the pandemic was the work would come to a halt uh, on the contrary for the majority of the portions we have seen much higher productivity much higher collaboration much higher you know level of connect our lives changed the company's productivity changed because of uh, yeah, because of microsoft teams great employees are people with great ambition and if there are people who have great ambition then you, you know, it's not right to curb their ambition and therefore one of the philosophies we have, we, we have taken up is to really support and nurture the growth of people as they grow we have i think about 65 companies that have come out of uh, inmobi in the last you know 10 years or so and i think it's just important to realize the the human uh, fabric uh, of of connect uh, of care safety trust because end of the day that's what 
will really matter in the long term. At every point of time, you know, your ups and downs are going to be so many. The mental stability of an entrepreneur is at the core of it. Neither the high nor the low should impact your happiness factor. You should, in, you should learn to enjoy the journey, the moment. And because that's the only way you can play a long game, you have to be mentally very stable and generally happy and optimistic. Mm -hmm.